Welcome, people. Today, I want to talk about time dilation. What is time dilation? Time dilation is a phenomena that was explained by Albert Einstein in his special theory of relativity. And it claims that a moving observer experiences time slower relative to an inertial reference frame. To understand what does this mean, imagine that you have a friend who is, who is the same age as you. You are both 16, say. And your friend gets into a spaceship and travels close to the speed of light. For you, when 10 years have passed, you'll be 26 years old, and then your friend comes back, and you'll see that your friend is just 17 years old. So only one year passed for your friend. This may sound like nonsense, but bear with me. In this video, we will drive the equation that explains this phenomena just by using basic algebra and geometry. First of all, to understand time dilation, we need to make a thought experiment with an hypothetical clock. This clock is a photon clock, and there's a photon inside of it, and there are two mirrors. This photon is getting reflected by these two mirrors, and let's call this distance d, and the speed of this photon c, the speed of light, and the time it takes to bounce between those, these two mirrors, t. Now, let's imagine that we put this photon clock into a spaceship that is moving close to the speed of light. What we see is that this photon doesn't, doesn't just travel this distance. Because relative to this clock or relative to someone in the spaceship, it's moving this distance. But relative to us, we see that because the spaceship is moving, this clock has moved from here to here. So it covered a greater distance in the same amount of time. But it can't happen because speed of light is same for all inertial reference frames. This is one of the postulates of special relativity. So speed is constant, it can't change, it's always c. But the distance has increased. How can this happen for if we experience same time? That's why we don't experience same time. Time must have been increased. So for us, a great two time passes in the same time. It's kind of weird to say that for us a greater time passes, but it is. So it covers this distance because for us more time has passed. And now we're going to say that the time that they experience is t prime. And the time we experience is t. No, no, t. Time experience is t. To understand the equation, we can form a triangle here. The triangle's long side is c times t because it's the distance that this photon covers between this clock. So it's just c times t. And the this distance, so this hypotenuse, is equal to c times t prime, the time that they had experienced, because it is the distance that this photon has covered in their time, so it's t. And this long side is v, which is the speed of the spaceship, times t prime in their time. There's a triangle here, a right triangle. So to understand the relationship between these two, uh, so to understand the relationship between the speed of light, the speed of the spaceship, the time we experience as an inertial reference frame, and the time they experience, t prime. We can use the Pythagorean theorem for this. I erased the photon clock so that you see the triangle better. And I changed t and t prime because so t prime is the time that your friend experiences in the spaceship and t is the time that you experience as an inertial reference frame. <clears throat> so this distance, c t prime, is the distance that your friend sees the photon moving because your, to your friend who is in the spaceship, this photon clock is inertial and the photon is going just up and down. But for you, the photon is moving diagonally, not up and down. It's going like this and this and this, because 
For you, the ship is moving, and the photon is moving with the ship. So, you see, this is a triangle that was formed by the motion of the photon with respect to you and your friend. Let's write the equation for this triangle. It is ct prime squared plus vt, squ vt squared equals ct squared. So I will send this to the other side. So it is ct squared equals ct prime squared equals ct squared minus vt squared. Let's factor out the t squared term here. And then send this uh, c squared on this side to the other side. And now c squared and c squared here will cancel out and will leave us with 1 minus v squared over c squared. And now if we send this term to the other side and take the square root of both sides, we will get t here is equal to t prime divided by the square of this square root of this expression. So it is 1 minus v squared divided by c squared. And this is the equation that you saw in the beginning of the video. This is the equation that explains the time dilation and it just uses the Pythagorean theorem. We derived the equation for time dilation now. We're just using simple algebra and geometry. And it makes sense. If you are standing still, not moving, if you, uh, if you plug in 0 for v, this is now, this term is 0, so this term is 1, so it is t prime over 1, and t is equal to t prime. So if you are standing still, time doesn't slow down for you. But if you are moving half the speed of light, if you plug in 0.5c instead of v squared, this term becomes square root of 0.75 and it is slightly greater than t. So it is like t prime divided by uh, square root of 0.75. So this is uh, less than 1. So this is greater than t. So t prime, which is the time you experience when you are moving, is greater than the time you experience when you're standing still, and this is time dilation, so time is ticking slower for you when you are moving. And this phenomena is explained just by Pythagorean theorem. How beautiful is that? Thank you for watching.